hello friends so today we will see that how to create a file of desired size in Linux. so what happens sometimes you required a file of uh, some size like 5 MB or 1 GB or 5 GB and uh, without any data so how you can create a file uh, of your desired size uh, without uh, having some data in it so there are multiple ways so we will go through the multiple ways that how we can create it the uh, file with uh, with uh, some of the defined size actually so the first method uh, what we can use it if you required a file to create it of your size you can use truncate like uh, truncate as as will be the size you can define it here 5m xt so you can see that uh, we have created a file let's check the file is created or not so this uh, above command will uh, create a file called remand.txt with exactly the 5 mb size so let's check uh, I'm gonna set fine. So you can see that remand.txt is being created with exactly the same size of 5 MB. And if you will look into it, what's there in this uh, file remand.txt? So you can see there is nothing there, but the size is 5. So the same thing. You can also create the file with fallowcat. So fallowcat is uh, used to pre-allocate or uh, deallocate a space to file actually. But uh, in case of fallowcat, you can only specify file size in byte only, not in MB or you know in other format. So you have to convert it into the bytes. So the command for creating with the fallowcat is define it like uh, if I have to go for five MB. So you can write, you have to write digits in bytes actually, like 4, 2, or 8, 8, 0. And define the file name. You can give the example like Raman file 2.txt. So you can create it with this also. And uh, if you like bytes, so you can also define like... Uh, a uh, variable and uh, you can define it like this also like 5 mb mean 5 into 1024 into 1024 so you can also define the size in this format and create the file so you can see that uh, we have created the file let's check whether what's the size in this uh, file being created or not so you can see remand file 2.txt has been created of the exact size that is 5 mb to create a file with this any size whatever you required so to create a empty file with a head command you can use uh, like a head minus c c is for copy actually and then uh, for example i have to create it for 10 mb and uh, you can define like dev your random and save it to a file you can say ramon file dot txt so what this command will do it will copy the u I mean the random text or you know and copy to this file actually and make it uh, this file as a 10 mb let's do this okay let me check this file has been created or not on my directory let's check it uh, all is minus h So here also you can see the 
file has been created but the size is not exact let's check what's there in this file Raman file 3.txt so you can see that lots of you know random text has been entered into this file it's not fully empty actually okay let's clear it so this way you can create it and if you required uh, null values in the file so you, through head you can create it that also like uh, head minus c in that case you have to use dev zero redact to the file take it a uh, reman head file dot txt so let's create this i have not defined the size let's me define the size okay 6 mb okay now create the file uh, let's check whether file has been created or not okay fine so you can see that we have created the file and the size of is 8.5.8 mb let's check whether something is there in your file or not it should not be there because it's an empty file we have add copied the zeros in it or the null values to it so let's check reman hat so you can see it's a null value has been entered into this file so this is another method in which you can in where you can create the empty file here there is one more method uh, let's clear it another method what you can use it dd so we can also use dd command to create file of desired size so basically the dt is used to convert or copy a file or it's also used to create a bootable disk so uh, let's use dd if if is input file so you can see input file will be dev zero we will enter the zeros there output file equal to what we will um, say reman dd file dd.txt and you can define the buffer size block size block size will be equal to you can take it uh, 1024 that is uh, 1 kilobyte kb and uh, here count mean that how many times he will copy this bytes block size actually so you can say like 1024 you can define it uh, 512 Okay, so let's create this file here. So you have seen that uh, it has created a file of 537 MB. So let's check ls uh, minus lh. So you can see dd file here and the size of is 512 mb so this is how you can create a size of any size whatever you required of empty size uh, having nothing null values so like uh, if you check it in this file that is uh, dt so it's a blank file you can see so this will be a blank file i don't think it will be there Control C. So, friends, this is how you can create a file of your desired size. So, I hope you would uh, like this video. Thank you very much for watching my video and uh, subscribe if you like my videos. And uh, we will talk more on other subjects. Thank you very much.